Well, I'm absolutely ecstatic. We have got another exclusive interview for the Showbiz Show. We have finally caught up, hence a five hour travel in an Addison Lee car, with the fantastic, <laughs> the multi-talented Harrison and Michaela from The Apprentice. <laughs> Guys, thank you very much right. for coming. Showbiz right. hug, showbiz, 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 showbiz. Thank you for coming. It's lovely to see you both. Yeah, yeah good to see you too. You see? How's life? Who's going to talk first? Who's going to go first? No, life's good, yeah. Um, just been, it's been pretty manic since getting off the back of the show. We've launched, um, I've launched a business. Kayla's just about to launch a business. Um, we're about got, to launch a baby. We're about to launch a baby. I know, uh, which is something we're going to talk about. Yeah, but so yeah. it's, been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been busy, but So good. let's just remind our viewers, so The Apprentice, how many, how, 2017, when did, you, when did the show finish? When did you leave the show? December. So we're not even a year yet, are we? No. So it's very, very fresh, yeah. it's very, very new. Yeah, yeah. it was, uh, yeah, it seems like a long time ago, to be fair. But, We've um, just done so much. We've just been so busy since then. But no, it was an amazing experience. Um, and yes, yeah, so I think there's a lot more to come. And and the experience, like the, the tasks, the tension, sleeping in a house, sleeping in a room with people you don't really know. How was the whole experience? We, I mean, we've had people from Love Island here over the last few weeks, Big Brother. I mean, in a way, it's like, Similar. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's similar. Um, but we can get away with it all because it's off camera in the house. <laughs> yeah, yes, no, it's, that's true. It, it's similar, but yeah, it's, it's they're long days. So you're up and out of the house by like four. You get back from task at like eleven. Contact with the outside world. No, you no. don't. You, you get a ten, if you have children, you get a ten minute car home each week. Right. If you have children, they'll sometimes give you but, two. But, but mobiles, everything's taken yeah, away. It's it's mobiles, radio, non-disclosure com computer. Agreements. When using computers, nah, you, you, you don't can't. use computer on the apprentice. Oh, you don't, do you? Yeah. No, you don't. So you just have not, You just have nothing. No, way, no way of going into onto the net and Google. No, no, no. You don't no. even have any money, so you can't even yeah. pop to a to phone box and that. Pop to phone box. I love a Bolton accent. <laughs> uh, we've got to talk about the baby. The baby, how many months? Five and five, five yeah. months. That's yeah. a congratulations. I think we're all absolutely delighted. Yeah. And we'll, we'll hopefully we'll have a look at the bump again. But uh, yeah. so how do you feel about being a dad, Harrison? No, yeah, I'm a bit nerve-wracking. Nerve an apprentice uh, dad. Uh, an apprentice dad, yeah, no, I can't wait. Well, it's hard. So it's November, it's the... Are you the date? first couple in Apprentice history to have a baby from the show? Yeah, you're not, the, you the are. first idiots to, to just yeah. dive right in there. <laughs> so you no, are, are, you're yeah. the first couple from The Apprentice ever to have a baby. The first 13 apprentice years. Really, yeah. That yeah. is incredible, mm. that's brilliant. Yeah, it is pretty. Do you know the sex yet or do you know? Oh, yeah. I thought you said, is there no sex yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that big. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a boy. It's, it's going to be a boy? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. We don't know what for Carl and that. Maybe Simon. Yeah, maybe. Or Showbiz. Showbiz! So, let's talk about now life after The Apprentice. You did The Apprentice. Michaela was in the final five. You, Harrison, you were there for quite a long time. You didn't win, but you were winners in your own right. You both are very, I know, I've got to know you off camera a little mm. bit. You're intelligent, you're hardworking people. What's happening now, Harrison? Um, so the same business that I took to the show, Equals Health, um, I got uh, an investment following it. So from a private investor. So technically, yeah, I've got the, I've got what I went on, went on there for um, an investment. So that's now launched. The website's right. up and running, yeah. um, and we're delivering around so the country. So tell us about, tell us about. I went to your launch, which it was a yes. fantastic evening. I loved it. But the viewers want to know about what the business is. Yes, yeah, so it's a healthy eating brand. Um, we deliver kind of meal prep throughout the country. So. We'll sort your week's healthy food and it's out. It's quite tasty, by the way. It is very tasty. Yeah, we've got a, we've got a Michelin star chef who um, runs oh, the met. kitchen. Ah, yeah, you met him at the yeah, launch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's great it's food. It's delivered to your door. So if you're working and you haven't got time to go to shops, it's there for you. So it's like clean eating. 100%. Yeah, like, healthy, well, what, healthy for, food. for gym gym fanatics or nah, for anybody? And it's not anybody. like clean eating like all these other companies because they say it's clean and yeah. all this, but then they nail it with preservatives. It is like completely fresh. Yeah. So Harrison's margins wouldn't be good as what other businesses are talking about margins on the shelf. <laughs> but no, but it's his, business, isn't it? His, his margins wouldn't be as high as, as other as what other companies yeah, in his yeah. sector would be, but his food's much better. So as long as he's bringing the volume in mm. and, and he is, he's got a sustainable company and something which is good for for people as well that's what you want to yeah it's just um it's just it's just good food it's, it's really healthy food it's good a good price 
and the goal is to uh, make it a household name. And, and the clientele you. that you've got so far, is it from all walks of life, all sorts of yeah. people? Definitely, yeah. So just individuals or people that go to the gym. I didn't want it to be like a gym no, focused uh, a company. Yeah, yeah. That's why I went with the name Equals Health. Yeah. It kind of can appeal to all. Um, yeah. People losing yeah. weight. People losing weight. People construction sites, they deliver them to corporate business meetings. Bit yeah. of everything. Bit of everything, yeah. So um, that's. You're trying it. to get in for meals on wheels. And you, Makeda, what's happening with you? Apart from being a mum again. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I'm still running all the other businesses that we're doing before the show. I've just got investment for my new company, We Connect Construction, which I'll be launching in September. Amazing. So. Yeah, it's mm. exciting. With it's launching it in September, giving birth in November. <laughs> Dying in there's, December. There's loads going on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's no, it's it's amazing what you've achieved through the Apprentice. And you know, although you didn't win the show, you won your what you won in your own rights. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Yeah, it's been good. It's one of those. Ones. I mean, he is fit. They're not this complete where, yeah, where I'm from. No, they don't fit. have ones that they like. I mean, I've had, lo- I've had Love Island in today, but I'm quite happy with Harrison, to be honest with you. I mean, he gives yeah. them a run for their money. Um, but um, the day that he finished with Caroline, he went for a celebs go dating interview. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't, I don't know about that, whether, whether or not he did, but I think he... Oh, have you heard about that? Do you know? Well, I was all over the press. No, to yeah. be fair, I didn't. I didn't really see any of it. Um, no, but you. I mean, I. No, I, no, I, mean, I, I, I never push genuinely. my guests into yeah. saying anything they don't want to say. But what I what I want to know is, yeah. you know him. You experienced something with him. Um, from what you saw of him, I does that character come over? No, and I, well, I still speak to Andrew to be honest, and he's only ever spoken highly of Caroline. And I thought when when it all came out, I thought fair play. You know, he, he's, I mean, Andrew's proposed, and I never thought he would like proposed to someone like, like that that fast but he obviously must have loved that but I've gone into doing that and when people saying his fame and being that he'd already been on The Apprentice he'd been on Big Brother it's not like oh he's desperate clawing for fame and it's not like oh insulting to Caroline Flack anyway he's only with her because she's famous I mean she's banging I'd go out with her <laughs> and it's not like she's not got nothing about her she seems like a nice woman so I think people saying these things is just no bollocks. no I agree And but I want you to ask you only because you shared a house with him you shared an experience with him you got to know him a little bit no and like, I, think, I just like, think it, I think he's having a hard deal to be honest yeah with you. like the, in the apprentice yeah. he went on there he's a clever he's a clever man is he? yeah he's, yeah, he's he an aero, he's aerospace, an aero engineer. aerospace engineer like helps I think he helps design airplanes so yeah, he he's like, do you think he wanted to show his career not to be Alan Sugar's partner though in the end what yeah I think it? no I think he was he, I mean he would have been happy with with the business as well but a lot of nobody goes on there expecting to win you know you you want to go on and you want to win I went on it not because I wanted to be in the public eye or anything but I was like even if I don't win here it's really good for my businesses yeah. it's the exposure yeah. so I don't anybody who says they're going on TV for other plans than to be on TV and for exposure are just liars I, I wish you both the best of luck and it's lovely for you to come on the show now we always do a little um, thing of the showbiz show at the end a few questions and answers all a bit of fun so what I'm going to do is we're going to fire the question and you've got to give me the first thing that comes to your heart so here we go Harrison what is your claim to fame the apprentice the Apprentice, <laughs> fantastic. Michaela, uh, who is the most famous person, excluding family members, who is the most famous person in your phone book? <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. No, not Harrison. Probably Andrew Brady. <laughs> <laughs> um, Harrison, and I'll ask you this one, Michaela. If an actor had to play you in a film, who would it be? DiCaprio. Uh, Oh, oh, right. oh, you could have picked somebody worse than that. I thought you were going to be like Brad Pitt. Or... Well, is he better than DiCaprio? What better looking? No, yeah, I wasn't going for Leonardo DiCaprio, Michaela, actress. Uh, somebody ginger. <laughs> Anyone ginger? Anne Robinson? Yes. <laughs> Anne Robinson. Oh, what are you saying about me? I've had lots of other. No, come on. Any actress in the world? Um, Michelle Pfeiffer. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Harrison, what is the most showbiz thing you've ever done? Go on, showbiz. Yay! <laughs> uh, Michaela, if you had to have something written on your tombstone, what would it be? Do not piss here. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, what, what can I say? Harrison and Michaela, thank you very much for coming today. It's been lovely to see you at long last, and good luck with everything. Yeah. And the baby! Yeah, thank you. Thank you.